All right, what I wanted to do is goof around a little bit with the GR300 synth. Uh, a few weeks ago, I, I put up a video that was basically a performance piece where I put in with drums and did a filter modulation thing. But what I'm going to do now is just show you some basic features of it and give you an idea of, of kind of how it sounds. A very familiar sound. The GR300 is basically a, a one-trick pony, but it is an amazing trick. So what you're hearing now is the voltage controlled oscillator, the VCO. Very familiar sound. Uh, Pat Metheny, of course, uh, uh, Don Henley's Sunset Grill has that GR300 lead in it. Now there's also in the synth called a hexa fuzz, hexa as in six. So each string has its own fuzz circuit. So now what you're going to hear is just the hexa fuzz. It's a synthetic sounding fuzz, but it is very unique. Uh, Robert Fripp, Adrian Ballou, <clears throat> you recognize that, that kind of tone, that texture of the hexa fuzz. Now, within the guitar, you have the, or not within the guitar, but you control the voltage-controlled filter from the guitar. You can also use a foot pedal, but I'm going to use the guitar that controls here. And it's a uh, 24 dB low-pass filter, which gives it the... There's also resonance, which gives it the, the true analog character. Now I'm going to play the hexafuzz and the VCO together, so now they're layered. two pitch controls here. One, I've got a set to take the VCO up a fifth uh, in relation to the hexafuzz circuit. So with the two layered you're going to get and there's a rise time and a fall time to control how long it takes to go from the normal pitch to your adjusted pitch. So there you go. Here I've got it down an octave, so let's just hear the VCO without the hexafuzz down an octave. I wish you could hear this through the studio monitors because it's it's really fat but with YouTube we have to do compressed audio and well, it is what it is so but it gives you an idea now I'll, I'll combine the hexafuzz and the down an octave VCO <laughs> Got an envelope modulation here so we can. Now, 
We can invert the envelope. also an LFO, low frequency oscillator, that will actually oscillate the pitch of the VCO. And these little touch plates on the guitar, you can actually touch them to engage the LFO or disengage it. Another really cool and unique thing about the GR300 is it tracks like a motherfucker. Uh, you can play as fast as you want. You've probably seen the Pat Metheny videos. I mean, he's just noodling like crazy, and it tracks every note, probably because there's no MIDI whatsoever. But it's just amazing. Now, I'm not really a noodler or much of a guitar player, but let me you know, give you an example. I'll play some fast notes here and listen to it track. Anyway, that's the sound of the GR three hundred. No samples here. It's an analog oscillator, analog filter, and nothing compares to the fatness of true analog.